Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Frank Bassett from Granada Gold. How are you today, Frank? Always a pleasure to talk to you, uh, Tracy. Always good. Always good. Thanks. I'll tell you, I'm going to start somewhere different today. You know, I, I, I know that gold is trending through the roof. It's not translating to the juniors yet, but I'm not sure everyone out there appreciates what a significant history that Granada Gold has. I mean, you you actually were a producer historically. Is that not correct? Yeah, I used to be a historic producer, and then went through a lot of colorful people that actually took some very nice, large surface bulk samples, did a lot of drilling. They didn't interpret the data correctly. And uh, we just followed up on it. And sure enough, we found a lot of the gold they left behind and we're still finding it. So I think everybody out there, we all know that we are going to inevitably see a translation of these high gold prices to the exploration place. Can you just tell us what the competitive advantages are of looking at Granada Gold? Well, the first thing is we're on the Cadillac trend. And uh, if there's any address that you really should be on in North America or Canada, you should be on a Cadillac trend. We're known for producing multi-million ounce deposit. Uh, there's over 140 million ounces that have been mined in, in the immediate area. And any deposit that anybody has ever worked on, the Cadillac trend, lots of gold, high recoveries, high grades. That's the norm. And that's our deposit was the same. When it was operated, it was about 9.7 grams a ton. Uh, uh, through the years, people took a very large uh, bulk samples, 100,000 tons plus. And this is right on surface, you know, three to five grams. And this is the norm on the Cadillac trend. And of course, that's exactly the argument a lot of people make when they send me Granada Gold information. I get a lot of information. Uh, some of your shareholders uh, are always talking about market valuations of other properties in the area and why I really need to be looking at Granada Gold. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, what we've done is we, we try to what we call ride the wave. And so we did a few false starts. And if you look at our, our trading pattern, you know, I took the stock to 40 cents a couple of years back. And then after that, I took it to 22 cents. And the reality is we didn't ride the wave the right time. So we kind of said, okay, we'll wait for the wave. So uh, I think we've got the wave thing figured out now. So uh, I think we'll probably do a pretty good run. Last time we hit the wave right on and we took this company to about 121 million market cap in 18 months on drilling only. So hopefully we'll do the same thing now. Well, you've also been putting out regular flow of news, of course, yeah. and you recently announced that Canada Silver Cobalt repurchased back in options from Granada Gold. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? It was one of those issues whereby we use one company to be an incubator for the next company. So when we're working at Granada, the silver asset became available. Actually, it was one of the highest grade silver mines that Nico Eagle operated in the Cobalt camp. We used to work for Nico Eagle with silver uh, camp and what it is it came available we picked it up for twenty five thousand. we stuck it into granada gold we spent a bit of money but really didn't do anything with it and then what happened was we did get an offer on on, on granada and it was actually quite a good offer then at the 11th hour uh you know the the people trying to take us over changed their mind they want to reprice the deal and i declined it but in the process i spun out the 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 silver assets but when I were spinning out the silver assets, we forgot five claims. And so we thought the claims were worthless. We said, okay, we'll do a half a million dollar back in clause thinking it's never gonna happen. Lo and behold, we hit this super high grade silver. You know, it ran up to 70,000 grams a ton silver plus cobalt. So we thought, you know what? Let's give it back to the people at, Granada, uh, at CCW. Granada is gonna benefit from the share price increase in CCW and it's a win-win for everybody. So we want to only focus on one project and we want to focus on, on developing the Granada project. We're only 20% explored. Uh, you know, we do have a resource. Uh, we also done a PEA, a PFS. We have multiple things, but I think now, uh, you know, we've kind of refocused our, our, our direction. We found a lot of high grade and, and I think we might end up building our own mill on our property at the Granada mine. Well, you, you just announced that Tetra Tech has begun studies yeah. for an on-site mill. I guess yeah. you're referencing that. You want to tell yeah. us a little bit more about that? Yeah, you see, for a long time, we're trying to custom mill in the area. And, you know, we did have two custom milling contracts. And then when they figure out how big the contract was, basically, we took over their mill for three years. So a lot of them declined it. So, you know, we're okay with that. And, uh, you know, we always thought, you know, the people with the custom milling capability within our immediate area 
can take our meals, but just recently, uh, you know, we did a bit of stripping, you know, in preparation for taking a bulk sample, and we found this massive native gold component. So we actually, uh, you know, we're going to sample this. We're just going to do a grab, and we'll send it to TTL and see how much native gold is in there. But what I've seen from my experience, there is no mill in the immediate area that can handle this high gray gold. So Frank, just, you know, I'm going to ask you what we should anticipate in the upcoming quarter or two, but how's COVID-19 affecting your plants? Well, it's kind of interesting. The way our company is designed, you know, we run what we call a virtual office from day one. So basically we raise money, goes into the ground. Nobody has a desk, nobody has a chair, nobody has a computer. So when the C-19 happened, it never affected us. You know, you'll notice our, our, our financials done on time. Everything's done on time because our people are spread out all over the place. And where we are in Northern Ontario, especially where we are, there are no cases. We have zero cases. And, and you know, but still people wear, wear masks here. You know, you go to a store and, you know, go to a restaurant and everybody, you know, clean, you know, uh, you know cleans their hands and all this. And, and they, but we have zero cases. It's, it's unbelievable. But we're isolated also, depending how you look at it. I mean, it's a small community. We have to put three little towns together. Uh, to get about 11,000 people and, uh, you know, so zero, zero, zero issues here, right? So we never stop. And in Quebec, the same thing, we never stop. So are you on track for your plans for fall? Yeah, we're actually kind of ahead of schedule on some of this stuff. We're kind of very happy how it's progressing. Uh, well, like I said, we're very pleased. I think we got the wave right. You know, we got it wrong twice, but I think we, we got it right this time. And I think we'll do what we've done best. You know, we, we drill. Uh, we bulk sample and uh, we put a lot of news releases out and we have a tendency of hitting our targets. And for those of you out there, if you haven't gone to the Granada Gold uh, site, I was just reading you've done approximately 120,000 meters of drilling yep. that have been completed to date. Is that correct? Yeah, that's only 20% of explored. So, you know, we're looking at this stage of this program might be over 100,000, closer to 200,000. We're targeting our unique structures. We found three high grade structures within our 9 to 22, which trend east-west over five and a half kilometers. So I think it'll be kind of exciting. A lot of drilling, a lot of results. That's what we're, we're known for. As always, Frank, it's a pleasure talking to you and getting an update on Granada Gold. It was a pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thanks for taking the time to, uh, to talk to us. Appreciate it.